On the onset of hearing of COVID-19, we started taking temperatures at the front guardhouse before you got onto the 60-acre campus. So we would have one of the symptoms covered that, and that was elevated temperature at that time. We asked a series of questions at the same time to see where people had been, who they'd been in contact with, if they were having any symptoms that we knew of at that time before again they came onto campus uh, to help with, with those situations there. If they were employees coming onto campus, we of course also had second temperatures of them during their work schedule, especially on the healthcare side. We limited access to the campus. Family members were not allowed to come into any of the healthcare areas early on. We limited access into independent and then closed down independent altogether to any access for family members, just employees were coming in. So I'm so proud of our Kirby team. Before many of us knew what COVID-19 even really meant, uh, in January of this year, the team actually initiated a, a hand washing in service for residents through our video channel, Touchtown, uh, for our staff and even for the management company, RCA on proper hand hygiene. Also early on in the healthcare side, the maintenance department did a germicidal spray of all the HVAC systems. And in those areas of the community, most of those are individual units and the individual room. So it was really important that we treated those with the germicidal and made sure they were as clean as possible. We did similar aspects of that in cleaning of the HVAC system within the estates part of the community, uh, office areas, et cetera. We found that the emotional portion of fighting the virus is really important and sometimes overlooked. So we're really trying to allow the residents to have freedom within the community. Um, we do have areas open for them while practicing social distance for them to enjoy. Uh, and then our campus being on 60 acres outside, gated and secure, uh, even our healthcare residents are able to ride on golf carts. Um, we're having ice cream socials. Uh, we're doing FaceTime. We're having families visit some of their uh, family members, particularly on the healthcare side, even with social distance outside in some of our courtyards. So we think uh, the ability to be outside with fresh air really helps people uh, emotionally um, feel better. Well, with regards to activities, not everything was put on hold. We just changed how we were doing activities. So bingo, for example, which is a, a big thing and a small thing in a community of this size, we continue that by doing that in hallways and the residence doorways. And so you could call that, have an intimate group, and they would do that. We develop walking clubs. We have 17 walking clubs now. So they're able to walk outside and track the number of miles that they take and have a little contest for them. So you continue exercising that way. We also have exercise in the Performing Arts Center. And now instead of it being one-on-one, -on -one, the instructor with a group of residents, it's the instructor in front of a TV, and that's broadcast throughout the entire community on our, our in-house television station. And we also have purchased several robotic thermal cameras. Um, and they're a wonderful device that allows you to detect a person's temperature through a thermal scanner. Um, if a temperature is above a marked amount, then you're right, it sends an alarm, so you're able to know who that person is that, that's an outlier in the process. Uh, and we've installed those in two areas so far at Kirby. One, as you enter the dining room, so everybody now entering the dining room goes through one central location and gets scanned. Uh, and then also, um, as people prepare to clock in for their shifts, we also have a scanner installed in the hallway. We are fortunate that we have a dining room that can seat at full occupancy close to 300 people. Of course, now people in the dining room, you're going to have at lunch, you might have 60 or 80 people, but they're spread among those total 300 seats. Dinner time, you have a larger crowd, but again, they're spread. So there's no more than two people, sometimes three people at a seven top will be seated. And so we'll continue to social distance with them. All service is restaurant style, so it's delivered to them. All servers are gloved and wearing masks and changing gloves, of course, throughout the course of the meal. Um, menus are disposable so that they can't be used a second time. Um, and so we're doing a number of things like that to keep everybody healthy and safe.
we're on a daily basis getting information from federal, state, and local authorities as to how to manage the virus with, with guidelines and protocols. We then assess that information, get together with our team leaders, um, go through protocols that change on a regular basis, and then share that uh, with family members and with our residents and with other guests who enter the, the campus. So this is a, this is a fluid, ongoing um, situation that we're all dealing with, but I think communication and being able to react and be flexible is key. Keeping the employees happy has been a big part of what we're doing and to keep everybody happy and healthy here as well. Providing them free meals every day so they don't have to leave campus and possibly expose themselves one more time. Of course, customer service remains the top priority at Kirby Pines. And so making sure we're smiling at one another, going the extra mile for the residents, doing FaceTime with their families, even if it's a personal phone, just to keep them engaged with the community. Doing what we can to hit those special things that make it a good place to stay always and to stay safe. It's the number one goal, keeping everybody safe there.